Okay, so I was just going to show you real quick about uh, switching company between single user mode and multi user mode. So here's the overview. In the background of your QuickBooks point of sale, depending on how you've installed it, uh, you got a service running, which is the QuickBooks point of sale database manager. So if we look in here and I just head to the queue section, uh, I've got quite a few of them actually because I have different versions of QuickBooks point of sale on my computer. Uh, but for 18, like we got here, we've got uh, point of sale database manager version 18. So when you are in multi-user mode on QuickBooks point of sale, then other computers on your network can access your QuickBooks point of sale. But if you want to, if you switch to single user mode, uh, then that database manager will be closed down and your point of sale database will only be running on your local computer. Why would you want to do it this way? I don't know. Normally when we install QuickBooks point of sale, I put it into multi-user mode right away during the installation. And that way, if somebody decides to get a second station uh, on their network in their back office, something like that, then it's already in multi-user mode and you can see it from another computer. Now, I'm also going to tell you, this is a little trick, if you do have multiple workstations and for some reason the other workstations are unable to access the main one, uh, a quick and easy way to restart the database manager uh, in network mode is to switch to single user and then switch back to multi-user mode. And a lot of times this will actually fix up just some sort of glitch or error it's having where it's not letting your other workstations in. So pretty cool, huh? All right, that was just my quick little tidbit on QuickBooks point of sale, single user and multi-user mode. Like I said, normally you're going to want to be in multi-user mode. Even if you have a single computer, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you want to be in that mode. And then if you're having issues with multiple workstations accessing, just try and flip it to single, flip it back to multi. Probably fix a lot of little errors you have. Uh, some people resort to restarting their entire computer, and it kind of does the same thing. It restarts that service. But you don't have to. You can just do it right here. There you go. Once again, my name's Peter. I'm with BlackRock Business, and I'm just giving you some tips here on the QuickBooks point of sale. Have a great day.